Shalom, Chavarim. I'm Steve Benoon. Uh, you're watching Israeli News Live. It is a world of Ain Shalom, as we often say here now. There's just no peace. And uh, we're just having to take care of things, friends. And it's making it very difficult as far as making uploads, but we are hoping to be able to make more and more uploads for you to kind of keep you guys informed about what's going on. Uh, I know that there are a number of YouTubers out there that are willing to tell the truth at least from the perspective that they're able to tell the truth in and we really appreciate that. Uh, Adam Green is of course one of those uh, he's really put out a very very good broadcast today. Uh, also Richie from Boston another one that has put out some very uh, good information uh, so we really appreciate the work that they're doing. I want to get right in though to uh, just a quick short broadcast here for you I've spoken to two different people today, and I have gotten some very disturbing news from both of those individuals. One individual that I spoke to, I had a contact in Italy. Of course, I have a niece in Italy right now. It's been under lockdown now for more than a month and says it's a living hell uh, in Italy right now. But my secondary source uh, that, uh, I shouldn't call it a secondary source, but uh, as far as other information coming out of Italy, is that Russian troops have been deployed to Italy to help with this quote-unquote COVID-19 uh, pandemic, right? Well, you know, as so many of the uh, YouTubers are saying, uh, you know, we are really dealing more with a virus that, well, in fact, the coronavirus has been around for uh, quite a few years as it is. And in fact, uh, one of the things I was being told is when they're testing uh, for the coronavirus, they're not testing for specifically COVID-19. That really requires a lot more efforts. And so therefore, that's why we have so many positives, because the coronavirus is just a regular virus. It is a cold virus. And because they just test generally, uh, that's why so many positive uh, results come out there. So it's really not... It could, you can't really even justify the word pandemic in that regards there, especially locking down the entire country. What about all the kids that ended up dying from the vaccines you gave them? Or, or what about all the autism that you knew good and well was caused by your vaccines uh, that should have been a total lockdown, not of the country, but rather the pharmaceutical companies that are giving this poison to the children, which is kind of interesting because a lot of these doctors won't even give their kids the vaccines because they know how dangerous they are. But anyway, in fact, I spoke to a couple of doctor friends as well that are very alarmed at what is going on. Different subject altogether. But let me go back into this uh, situation here. In Italy, as I said, though, one of our sources there, direct contacts with people in Italy there, like myself, my niece is over there, but others that are having contact there, Russian troops have been deployed to quote unquote help with this corona pandemic that they have in Italy. Now, speaking of that, on top of it, I think about the Russian, huge Russian plane that landed in New York recently, uh, allegedly with supplies for the coronavirus. Now, after hearing what happened in Italy, just can't help but wonder if that supplies didn't include some Russian troops being deployed to New York City. Hmm, very interesting, isn't it? Well, that's not the only problem we're facing either. I actually spoke with one of my colleagues uh, and we went into great detail about information that he was privy to. And of course, we were sharing with him information that we were aware of. What well, just so happens, he has a very close connection to one of the hospitals that was in the videos that we had received in from Pensacola, Florida. And he said to me that that hospital there, that it's like nearly empty. He said less than half capacity is in the hospital. A-Wing, for example, this is a Sacred Heart Hospital in Pensacola, Florida, nearly completely empty, A-Wing. Several other wings, totally empty. And of course he said they have been told that, uh, by the way, we're just making room for new patients that could be coming from the rural Alabama uh, surrounding communities that are not prepared for the pandemic. But he also admitted they don't even have patients coming through the ER. There is no big long lines happening there. You know, it just seems to just give more and more information that what we're being told is nothing but propaganda. And I will say one thing, though, the government has learned from this whole ordeal, is that a lot of Americans are just meh, meh, sheeply. 
That's exactly right. You know, Jesus even compared us as Christians as sheep. Why? Because a sheep is the dumbest animal there is and has to have a shepherd to lead them. I had a friend of mine one time years ago that raised sheep and he told me, he said he always found it interesting that Jesus likened us into sheep. He said because sheep was the dumbest animal he ever knew. He said a sheep could get in a corner of, uh, uh, of the barn there and blate to death, never moving, thinking it's lost without a shepherd. And friends, today more than ever we need the shepherd, Jesus Christ, because there's a lot of wolves out there that are trying to bring about fear and unrest to society. Uh, they have some very big plans for us as the sheeply out here. And I'm very concerned that we may find ourselves in the Italian scenario as well under, uh, well, maybe even Russian troops on our soil, helping them go door to door. Hmm. It will be targeted disarming, won't it? That's exactly the verbiage the people in power like to use. You see, you have to understand, President Trump is really just the back door for the Democrats and the Democratic agenda. After all, he's got his son-in-law, Democrat, his daughter-in-law, Democrats. And this is really, it doesn't really matter if it's Republican or Democrat. Let's face it, they're all in bed together. They're all part of the New World Order. They're all ready to bring in the cashless society. They're all ready to get Bill Gates's new tracking vaccine put in your body so that you can't, and you can't buy or sell, saving you take that vaccine. How many is that going to kill? You're going to lock down the country for that one too? Huh. Something to think about, isn't it? I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And thank you. And thank you for your support of this broadcast as well. We are going through a tremendous time because we have already been told, even by some of our highest ranking sources, that they're watching us closely. So I have a family to protect as well. And so I do appreciate your kindness to this ministry, however long that might last as far as our ability to participate in this economy. Because the time is coming that without their vaccine, you won't be able to buy or sell. It is an antichrist beast system. And by the way, we're going to be talking about this with Yana later. They are bringing out, they said the Messiah is going to appear this year. No, the Messiah appeared 2,000 years ago. And he can appear to any heart at any time, any place, anywhere he wants to, even into this day. So the Messiah they got coming is an antichrist. All right, Israel's got an antichrist coming. And they're going to get many of these Christian pastors, these 501c clergy response team pastors that are running around telling you, oh, everything's going to be okay. Trump's got it all under control. You don't have to worry about it. We're going to get rid of the deep state. No, he works with the deep state. Hello. Maybe we should do a little research in the background and find out, like, these respirator companies, who all has stocks in those companies? What about the companies that are making the masks that Trump is going to do that executive order and make all these companies make these billions of masks that you don't need anyway? I'm Stephen Benin. You're watching Israeli News Live. And we will tell you the truth. Check out our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. Also, Patreon. We will be adding a video here in the next day or so. That's where you'll get the deep information.